Hello, you're watching GB Times. I'm Janna Koivela, GB Times Russian Desk. The main news today, Edward Snowden remains in transit area of Moscow's Sheremetyevo International Airport. Last Tuesday, June 25th, Russian President Vladimir Putin confirmed the fact that Snowden is currently in Moscow in transit area of Sheremetyevo Airport. At the press conference during his trip to Finland, Putin emphasized that having come as a transit passenger, Snowden didn't need any visa or any other documents. More than that, a transit passenger status technically means that Snowden has not crossed the Russian border. Putin also made it clear that Snowden's extradition to the US is impossible because the countries have no formal extradition treaty. President Putin said that in any case he personally would prefer not to get involved in such cases. He said, it's like shearing a piglet. There is a lot of squealing and very little wool. Meanwhile, more and more comments are coming from members of the Russian Presidential Council for Human Rights. In general, they justify justifies Snowden receiving political asylum in any country of his choice, including Russia. The head of Russia's top official human rights body, Mikhail Fedotov, said on Wednesday, Snowden must be granted protection regardless of national borders. Another member of the Human Rights Council, Kirill Kabanov, said, My opinion is that we should take a very precise position, no handover. The head of the lower house committee for foreign affairs, Alexei Pushkov, in his post in Twitter, called Snowden a new dissident and a new fighter against the system. Also in the news, fears over meningitis outbreak. Dozens of children have been hospitalized in recent months in meningitis outbreak in Russia's Rostov and Lipetsk regions. In total, over 180 people in Lipetsk region have been confirmed as having a virus that is associated with meningitis, and hundreds of them were hospitalized. In about 50 of those cases, the patients were given a clinical diagnosis of meningitis. On Wednesday, the geography of the infection has spread to Moscow, where in total 10 children were hospitalized with seven confirmed diagnoses of serous meningitis. Today, news have come that the infection has also been found in Russia's Krasnodar region. Meanwhile, Russia's health ministry sought to calm down all the fears. Acting Moscow Health Department head Georgi Galukhov said that cases of antivirus infections arise periodically in summertime in all Russia's regions and also in other countries. The ministry has the issue under control and there is no reason to panic. That's all for today. You've been watching GB Times. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Janna Koeviola. Bye for now.